you are listening to KSG podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services as patterns in this podcast we are going to talk about india's first dark sky reserve source for the content is anjali marar's article for the indian express by the end of 2022 india will establish the country's first dark sky reserve in the cold desert regions of ladakh dr jitendra singh minister of state for science and technology announced on the 3rd of september 2022 This facility will also promote astronomy tourism, he said. Now, what is a dark sky reserve? A dark sky reserve is public or private land with a distinguished nocturnal environment and starry nights that has been developed responsibly to prevent light pollution. According to the International Dark Sky Association, that is IDSA website, these reserves consist of a core area meeting minimum criteria for sky quality and natural darkness and a peripheral area that supports dark sky preservation in that core. These reserves, it said, are formed through a partnership of multiple land managers who have recognized the value of the natural nighttime environment through regulations and long-term planning. Now, how does a site become a dark sky reserve? Individuals or groups can nominate a site for certification to the International Dark Sky Association. that is idsa there are five designated categories namely international dark sky parks communities reserves sanctuaries and urban night sky places the certification process is similar to that of a site being awarded the unesco world heritage site tag or getting recognized as a biosphere reserve between 2001 and january 2022 there have been 195 sites recognized as international dark sky places globally the idsa said The IDSA considers a piece of land suitable for dark sky place only if it is either publicly or privately owned, is accessible to the public partially or entirely during the year, the land is legally protected for a scientific, natural, educational, cultural, heritage and or public enjoyment purposes, the core area of the land provides an exceptional dark sky resource relative to the communities and cities that surround it. and the land offers prescribed night sky brightness either for a reserve park or sanctuary india is still in the process of filing its nomination to idsa now who is developing india's first dark sky reserve the ladakh union territory administration is leading the efforts in establishing the country's first dark sky reserve to be situated at a height of 4500 meters above sea level the hanley dark sky reserve or hdsr will come up within the Changtang Wildlife Sanctuary. The Department of Science and Technology and experts from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, IIA, Bengaluru, are providing scientific and technological support in developing this first-of-its-kind facility. The IIA already manages the Indian Astronomical Observatory, that is IAO, complex at Hanle in Ladakh. Here, scientists have been carrying out astronomical observations using the existing gamma ray and infrared and an optical telescope to study exoplanets, galaxies and stars through the pristine skies of Hanley. The formal decision to set up this dark sky reserve was made through a memorandum of understanding signed between officials from the IIA, Bengaluru, the Ladakh UT and the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council in June this year. So why was Ladakh chosen for the project? Ladakh is a unique cold desert located about 3000 meters above sea level with high mountainous terrains, long and harsh winters with minimum temperatures dropping to minus 40 degrees Celsius make large parts of the union territory highly inhabitable. This aridity, limited vegetation, high elevation and large areas with sparse populations all make it the perfect setting for long-term astronomical observatories and dark sky places. But the primary objective of the proposed dark sky reserve is to promote astronomy tourism in a sustainable and environment-friendly manner. Scientific methods will be used here to preserve the night sky from ever-increasing light pollution. With metro cities and peripheral areas experiencing light pollution and remaining constantly lit up, there are diminishing areas that offer a view of clear skies on cloudless nights, experts have noted. 
Now, will this help boost tourism in Ladakh? After it became a union territory, tourism in Ladakh has seen an uptick during favorable months. However, its fragile environment is vulnerable to rising carbon footprint and incoming vehicles. The Ladakh Tourism Vision Document 2022 underlined the need for efforts to increase the use of green fuels and boost carbon neutral activities. The locals in Ladakh are sensitive towards the conservation of the ecosystem. They are keen to protect the environment from getting deteriorated, said Professor Annapurni Subramanyam. Director IIA. Since June, experts have held active interactions with the locals. A number of initiatives are underway ahead of opening the HDSR to the public. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ India courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel.